Some great exercise to start the day. What a beautiful stretch to my hands and legs. Dad, what happened? Vivek, I'm experiencing this chest pain nowadays. It seems to persist. The smallest of physical activity causes tiredness and fatigue. Dad, let us go get you checked. So Vivek, tell me what brings you here. Doctor, my father and me were walking out in the park when he started experiencing chest pain. He also regularly experiences fatigue and tiredness. Oh, Mr. Govind, what is your age? May I know? I turned uh, seventy this year, doctor. Okay, Mr. Govind, let's get you checked. Could you please come forward? Vivek, it doesn't sound right. I'm afraid. But let's get a 2D echo done to be conclusive on anything. What's the issue, Doc? This is how a healthy beating heart should sound. In your father's case, I hear a distinctive murmur. Let's get a 2D echo done to be conclusive over anything. Okay, doctor. We shall get it done and then visit you. Dr. Varma, this is my dad's 2D echo report. Mr. Govind, you are suffering through a condition called severe aortic stenosis. Okay, doctor. Uh, is this something serious? Aortic stenosis is a narrowing of aortic valve opening. Aortic stenosis restricts the blood flow from the left ventricle to the aorta. Aorta is the main artery that carries blood away from your heart to the rest of your body. Oh, I see. Um, how does this happen, doctor? Aortic valves regulate the flow of blood from the left ventricle to the aorta. Due to aging, common calcium and scarring damage the valve and restricts the amount of blood flowing through the valve. So, what's next, doctor? Mr. Govind would have to go in for a valve replacement procedure. And how is it done? It is done through open heart surgery or TAVR or TAVI. I know open heart surgery, but what is TAVR? Transcatheter aortic valve implantation or replacement, or referred as TAVR or TAVI for short, does not require heart surgery. Instead of opening chest, a small incision is made, often in the groin. Then a tube, catheter, is inserted into the artery from there to the heart or directly into the left ventricle. The replacement valve is passed through the catheter to the heart, then expanded within the faulty valve. New valve allows the heart to work normally again. Entire planning of cases done by heart team led by a cardiologist with the help of CT. That's great, Dr. Varma. Thank you for your valuable advice. We shall go ahead with Tavar. Glad could be of help. See you soon.